Police released body camera video of an officer involved shooting in Evansville that left one man dead in Evansville. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Brad Bird. Shelley has the evening off. The initial call came in around 10:30 this morning from a home in the 1300 block of North Third Avenue near Florida in Evansville. A word of warning: the video may be upsetting to some people. Eyewitness News Ann Powell joins us live now with the latest. Ann. Brad, officers say when they got to the house, the man had a knife and refused to put it down, according to police. An officer tased him. When that did not work, detectives say an officer drew his gun and fired at least one shot, killing the man. Did you call? Yeah. What can I do for you? You want an ambulance? I don't like. Okay. Why do you want an ambulance? Hmm? Can you tell me why you want an ambulance? Yeah, because I'm I scared right now. Why are you scared? I don't like. Send me with me. Police say the man called 911, mumbling they are killing people. What, what and then the line went cold. He didn't answer questions. He didn't continue to talk with them. Police went to the home to check on the man. A uh, woman answered the door and let them in. Everything okay? Evansville police released this body cam video of the moment they entered the house. Officers say the man appeared to be in distress and holding a knife. Uh, he's got a knife. He's got a knife in his right hand. He's acted really weird. Yeah, put the knife down, please. Hey, I need you to put the knife down. Police say they asked the man to put the knife down several times. When he refused, an officer tased him. Police say the taser had no effect, and the man came towards them with the knife in his hand, and that is when an officer fired his weapon. <laughs> Killing him. Anytime an officer is involved in an officer involved shooting, um, they immediately get removed from the scene. Their duty weapon gets taken from them. They have to go to the hospital, perform a state kit to make sure there's no alcohol or narcotics in their system. Tina Wilkins lives across the street. She met the man and his family several times and says she is sad to hear the outcome. He got shot. It was a real, he was a real good guy. He had only been there like a couple of months. Very, very nice, respectful man. Wilkins says she saw one child come out of the home after the shooting, but no one is saying who the child is or how much of the incident the child may have seen. Police say the officer has been placed on a leave of absence while they continue investigating into what happened. Brad. All right, thank you, Ann. Evans